what is up everyone welcome to a new series this month we are uh thursday night we're going to be on october 29th uh but because we run it by sundays uh we are in a new series a new month month of november the series is called breaking news i'm very excited uh for this series we're talking about the minor profits and so um we're going to talk about some guys that we would not normally get a chance to talk about guys like uh, this week is Micah. We're going to have Amos. Uh, gosh, I think Nahum is one of them. Like some really obscure dudes uh, with the theme. Breaking news. It's kind of news show castery themed with this idea that the prophets were those who delivered messages from God. And so it'd be like, it, it's like God said, hey, I need you to go and deliver this message. And they would come and say, okay, I have everyone's attention. I have breaking news from God. Here's what I have to say. And so this week, uh, week one is, is Micah. And the big idea is that when things go wrong, I can choose what's right. And so Micah's basic message is this, God is going, hey, get it together. Uh, you guys are not following me. You're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. And he sends Micah to just deliver that message to them. It's really straightforward. Like, hey, you're starting to fall away. I want to help you correct this before it gets too late. And so um, we're going to we're gonna have some fun in the opener with some hilarious headlines. That's the name of the game. Uh, you know, our host will, will read headlines. We'll have them on the screen and kids just have to guess if they are real or fake. And so, um, for an example, um, w was this a real headline or not? Cold weather in Florida could cause iguanas to fall from trees. Is that a real thing that was ever used as a headline on the news? Yes, it is. Uh, cold weather there, there are these lizards and they get cold and then they, they're cold blooded. So they freeze and then they fall out of the tree. So kids are going to guess stuff like that. That'll be fun. Um, we have a new memory verse, 1 Corinthians 16, 13, uh, and it goes like this. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. So um, we'll throw some motions together for the kids for that. It's just four short phrases, so we'll do a motion for each phrase. Uh, we'll have our worship song, Chasing Me. We'll have our story, um, which again is less story because it's more of just like a message, uh, but we'll we'll find a way to uh, you know make that enjoyable and and um, applicable for kids and then we send them to small groups where you know you have a, a thing of questions called live reaction how would you react if and you're asked kids how they would react um some stick up for you stickies kids are gonna get sticky notes and something to write with again we're gonna just redo this or not redo um overly convey this idea that even when things around you aren't going right. People around you are disobeying. What can you do? How should you act? Okay. Well, not just, don't just tell me how you should act. Cause the answer is really easy. You know, what should you do? Pray. Okay. Okay. Pray about what, you know, read your Bible, read what in your Bible, how should you act? Nice. How, you know, like those, these are things we want kids to, to do. Um, they get these, the same answers every time. And that's great. They, yes, the, that is the right answer, but I want you to tell me more. Um, for the memory verse, we have memory mirrors where kids will um, stand face to face and they will say the verses and they'll try and do the motions at the same time. And they can even add their own motions for that particular game if they would like. Um, and then there is a prayer uh, for you to just, you know, you can, you can literally read this prayer off the paper um, or you can use that as sort of your guideline. It's just a prayer that has to do with having us choose to do what's right, even when those around us are doing wrong, or even though that when the things around us are wrong. So, um, that's the day. That's the week. Uh, and like I said, we'll, we'll be going through a different profit every week. Um, just want to say I am back from vacation in Iowa. I had one person text me uh, while I was gone and said, how long are you in Iowa and are you taking the job that you're interviewing for? Uh, and I laughed out loud because that is so many times people think that if you're from another place and you leave that you're just going on a job interview. And I just want you to know I did not. Um, went and saw my family. I had a great time, uh, came home to a furnace that wasn't working, to a car battery that was dead, and more trouble with my washing machine. So um, I, I came home on Monday, late Monday night, and then on Tuesday had all those things going wrong. And then, um, so I'm just now really today getting like into all the stuff, and I'm moving desks today. I've been, I've, this computer on a different desk. Um, so I'm just, I'm, I'm all scatterbrained, but check this out. Um, this is something really cool I want to show you. We have a new logo, which um, it's backwards to you, and I apologize for that. Uh, it's very simple. It's the V. That's the new VRL logo, and then it says VRL 
kids. And so um, we have new t-shirts that are being designed currently. Um, so soon I will be gathering uh, shirt sizes. Um, we also are uh, working on new name tags. This is the, this is the test one that they made where, um, you know, kind of the same, same general thing of, uh, that's, it'll be the logo. It'll say Valerie life. What we're looking towards is all name tags being identical and then having special lanyards. And so, um, your name tag will just look, it won't say kids. It will just say Valerie real life volunteer or Valerie real life leader or whatever, you know, whatever they want them to say with your name, it'll have a kid's VRL kids lanyard, but that way, if you also are, uh, let's say you serve on the, the greeting team, uh, you know, you volunteer at eight and kids and you serve on the greeting team at 11, uh, wear the same name tag. Cause it looks the same and it doesn't say kids. It says Valley real life. And then, and then your lanyard will get custom lanyards, um, for kid men stuff. And, uh, so that is that, um, the other thing with this, is that I'm currently in the process of, I don't know where my, oh, I think they're in my backpack. I ran a report of every kid who came in January through March 15th. Um, and then the same report for kids who have been here since we reopened in July, uh, August for kids. Um, and then I cross-referenced them. So I have like seven pages of, of cards to write to kids to go, Hey, Guys, uh, I miss you. Uh, I hope you're coming back at some point. It's cool that you haven't come back yet. I just want you to know we miss you. Can't wait to see you. And so um, I have an entire box of these postcards that I'm writing to kids little by little. Um, so anyway, just some big things going on there. Uh, trunk or treat is this Saturday. We'd love for you to either bring your kids and, and trunk or treat or come and set up a trunk, um, register online, uh, and then... And then Christmas Eve services are coming up after that. So you'll be hearing from me on some of that because we just get to hang out with uh, early childhood age kids. And so for me, like that's the age my son is now. It's like I finally feel like I understand toddlers. Um, so I'm excited to get to spend some time playing with them. And uh, yeah, guys, all the things. So have a great day. Again, here's here, it's all fits on one page this week. One page or nothing on the back. Uh, we're going to be going through Minor Profits. This week's Micah. Have a great week. I'll see you guys on Thursday. It's tomorrow. Uh, I'm so behind vacation. Don't go on vacation ever. You're just behind when you come back. Uh, and then Sunday, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Uh, and hopefully I see you all on Saturday at some point at our trunk retreat uh, at our Barker or Otis Orchard's campus. All right, guys. Peace out.